When it comes to recording and mixing, high-pass filters are everywhere. They're on our mixers, they're on our microphones, and they're right here in our digital audio workstations. So in this video, I'm going to let you know what a high-pass filter is, what it does, and why you would use one. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to Studio Live. Today, if it's your first time here, what I like to do on the channel is help you create, record, and release your best music. And GarageBand here on the iPhone or iPad is one of the places that I like to show what you can do with recording. And in this one, we're taking a look at yet another one of these free Apple Audio Unit plugins. This time, it is the High Pass Filter. So let's dive in now and take a look. A high pass filter is actually a very simple plugin. In fact, there's usually only one or two dials that you need to worry about. The most important being the cutoff frequency because what a high pass filter does is it removes any of the sounds below a certain frequency. So it's great to use if you've got some low rumbly sort of frequencies. If you live in an area with traffic noise or a truck goes past in the middle of your recording or you've got some low buzz and hum, what you can do is put the cutoff frequency here down and then anything below in this case 1174 hertz will be actually cut off here now you can change this one here the resonance and some plugins will have different settings and what i'm going to do is actually jump in and show you how we can use a high pass filter on some of these audio tracks so that you can understand when and how you'd use one so here we have a little jam that i recorded for a previous demo and at the moment it sounds like this Sometimes you need a little crunch in your vocals to make them just pop. So what we're going to do here is add some high pass filtering to some of these instruments. Now I've got the vocal selected here. If we solo out the vocal here, we'll jump into the plugins and EQ. Now here in GarageBand, we tap in the top left. If you're on a smaller device, it may be up here in the top right. We're then going to go plugins and EQ, tap on the edit button here and hit one of the green pluses. We can now go over to audio unit extensions over here on the right. And we're going to scroll down until we find the high pass filter. And we're going to select that one. And now we're ready to dive in our filter. So we'll tap right here on the orange button here. Now, as I mentioned before, the cutoff frequency is really what you need because often you won't want to boost or drop the dB at all. You just want everything to be flat, but what you want to do is just roll off. We often call it rolling off or cutting off any of the frequencies before a certain level. So for something like this, we really only want to remove the very low end. So if we bring this down, we might want to roll off everything under say 200 Hertz or 400 Hertz or maybe up to 1000 Hertz but a thousand hertz you're actually cutting off a lot of the vocal sound if you've got a lower sounding vocal so let's just dial this into say 242 hertz and now if we play this vocal back sometimes you need a little crunch in your vocal it's just going to cut off the lower end of there if we turn the turn it back off or put it down to just 10 hertz there Sometimes you need a little... It's got a little bit more of that low end in there. And what I'll do is I'll dial this up so you can actually hear the difference. As we bring the cutoff frequency up, you'll hear less of the low end and more of the high end will punch through. So let's try that now. Sometimes you need a little crunch in your vocals to make them just pop. So what you were hearing there is that as I dial up the cutoff frequency, it's cutting off more of the low end and it's called a high pass filter. It could actually be called, it often is a low cut filter, but we call it high pass because it's letting all the high frequencies pass while cutting off all of the low frequencies, just an audio thing. We find a way to make things complicated, like the difference between volume and gain, but that's for another day. So that's one way that we can use them. We can use these on other instruments too. So let's jump in and show you another couple of examples. So as well as using a high pass filter to cut off any rumble or background noise, you can actually use it to free up some space in different frequency ranges. So here I've got this guitar. In fact, let's solo the guitar so that we can just hear it. It sounds like this. So a cool funky guitar sound. Now we've got a high pass filter on here. If we tap on here, let's just drop this cutoff frequency back down. This is what the guitar will sound like without the high pass filter. So a cool sound, yeah, but it's what it's doing is when we're playing this back, it was competing with the bass guitar because it's got so much low end in there. So what we can do is let's just say we want to cut everything below about a thousand hertz. Now let's play this back. 
So there you can just hear that we get a more sort of treble heavy and less bass heavy sound. So you can use the high pass filter not only like with your vocals to actually remove that noise, but also as a style choice if you want something to have a little bit more treble and remove some of the bass so it's not competing with some of our other instruments. Now, so far we've only used the cutoff frequency here, but we also have this resonance dial. So let's hit play on this guitar and I'll show you what the resonance will do. So you can hear there we can get a little bit of a boost or a little bit of a cut there by changing the gain, the dB there at that cutoff frequency. So that's another cool way to actually get some different kind of sounds with our high pass filter. Now, one of the things you may be asking now is, Pete, don't we have a visual EQ here? Couldn't I come in here and just roll this off at 200 hertz and there's my high pass filter? Well, yes, you actually can. The reason that I like the high pass filter is it's a lot more accurate. And you'll notice here that if we roll this off from say 50 hertz, it doesn't roll it all the way down to zero dB. So it's not a technically a proper high pass filter. It will do kind of the same thing, but not exactly. So you can do this. And if you wanted to understand the difference with that boosting, that's basically doing something like this that's raising up or dropping down the frequency so that you get more of a harsh kind of drop there or you're having it lower down so that's that resonance and then the actual cutoff is this sort of thing here so yes you can use the visual eq if you're more comfortable but i like using these because you can layer up several of them and you can get exactly the sound that you want there are two more videos linked down below with two more of the cool free audio unit plugins from Apple here in GarageBand. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking or tapping on the Studio Live Today icon and I'll see you next time.